Hi everybody out there in cyberspace, my name is Sharif and today I'm going to be talking about integrated workflows. So you might be wondering, what's an integrated workflow? Well, you may have heard of the concept of a workflow, of course, uh, doing one step at a time to achieve a certain task. You may not have known it as that, as that word, but I'm sure you understand the concept. Going from step one to step 10 or 12 or five or however many it is until the task is done. And you can usually write down as a list and do it again and again and again to achieve the same kind of tasks. So if you're not, let's say a director with multiple staff under you who can each do one media format for your one piece of content, you have a lot of work on your hands if you're going to go do a video, you're going to do a article, you're going to do an image to go along with it, you're going to do, you know, maybe some other angle on it, like a program that's related to that or something. It's very difficult to basically isolate each one of those formats because you really pile up the work. If you go and do a article about one topic and then you go do a podcast about another topic, then you still need to make that podcast in multiple different formats to reach more people. And you still need to make that article in multiple different formats to reach more people. So why not instead you focus on one piece of content at a time and before you even get started creating that content, you have in your mind, how is this going to translate into multiple different media formats? So for example, let's say you're doing a graphic design. Oftentimes a graphic designer, once he gets you know, the impetus to create it, let's say it's for a client or it's for his own website or some other project. Well, usually he just starts the graphic design from the beginning and then goes until the end and then deploys the graphic design and it's over. However, you're going to probably go for a coffee while you're doing that graphic design. You're not probably not going to be 100% concentrated and focused from the beginning to the end unless it's a pretty easy project or you're really in the zone. But even then, it's not such a crazy thing to, as you're doing it, take some screenshots throughout, you know, write some notes about what exactly it is you're doing. This will also give you more insight when you look back into your documentation of your work. You can then take these text files and those images from those screenshots, and you could put them together in an article. They can also be used as B-roll for a video, footage for a video that you can use. And if you wrote those notes in a fashion that it's easy to say like dialogue, then you could even read that back in a podcast. And if you're recording yourself on video as you're recording the podcast, well, look how many formats you've covered in one fell swoop. It's absolutely amazing just by changing your mentality and thinking about how is this going to translate into each other format. When you do one thing, you're really taking care of multiple things at the same time wonderful thing about this is it's completely flexible. You don't have to start with a graphic design. That was just an example. You could start from an article. You could start from a chapter of the book. You could start from a sculpture. You could start from a game you're working on if you're a game developer or an application or even an essay. And then the sky's the limit. I don't even think there is a limit, but in any case, wherever you start from, you can always deploy in multiple formats much more easily if you think about it first and how it's going to translate. And you take those little steps that you need as you're doing the work to make it easier for you later. Rather than going from beginning to end in one format and then going from beginning to end in another format without having any help from the previous work you did or covering like a different topic like I brought up before. So I hope that really helps you to really increase the efficiency of your production. And if you want to learn more check out productionhackers.net for daily new content. I'm Sharif, and I'll see you next time.